The Kinda Project. Hi, my name is Chad. You may better recognize me as Chaz Kildare, Z-list internet celebrity, comedian, visual artist, writer, and all-around nutball from my show FAP, as shown on the website justin.tv. The show started in 2009 and was a rousing success for its first two years, but then in 2012, it came crashing to a halt. The show became a shell of its former self. The viewership dwindled and finally died off completely in the late summer. All of the side projects burned like Nero. I have a confession to make. I'm at fault for this. Not because I gave up or I'm lazy. It's because I have suffered for years with a mental condition called depression. In early 2012, it started again, and what I like to call my shadow returned. Deep inside, I became miserable. My creativity, spark, and passion were gone thanks to events in my real life and in my own mind. On the surface, I appeared fine, but eventually, it all leaked out. I was simply playing the character that everyone knew, pretending everything was all right in the world. While in real life, I entered a deep personal hell of my own making, and ultimately, everything paid the price. My weight skyrocketed, my health declined, I abandoned all my projects one by one. I sought distractions and anything that would kill the pain I felt, and if it couldn't kill it, at least distract me from actually facing the problem. I began to withdraw from my friends and family. I couldn't face them, and even looking in the mirror became difficult because I didn't like who I saw. I felt like a monster. Finally, even the simple task of starting up my computer and working on anything became unbearable to me. Rather than fight through it, I simply gave up. I told everyone that everything was fine, everything just jumped the shark, uh, the course was run, and I would focus on my career. Everything was really fine. Too bad it was all a lie. I wasn't living because I thought I didn't deserve to live. I was merely existing, taking up space, waiting for the day I would simply wouldn't wake up anymore. Until I did wake up and mustered the last bit of courage and drive I have. For the project, this time, is me. I need to change. I have to change. My family needs me. My friends need me. My work needs me. And finally, I need me. On December 17th, 2012, I turned 39 years old. I treated the day like I would any other day. I went to work went home, and I went to sleep. But I knew, deep down, it was actually the start, the start of the project I call 52. One year, 52 weeks, 365 days. What will happen? Will I fight through it all and succeed, or will I fall back into old habits and disappear? I've decided not to hide anything anymore, and to share my journey through the next 52 weeks of my life with you all. My thoughts, struggles, triumphs, and tragedies. No filter, no holding back, and I sincerely hope all of you will join me. Cheer for me, and even boo me if you have to. Starting as low as I've ever been, and fighting to get myself back. This is a year in my life. This is 52.